Oh, I thought that was a spider, but that's that's bird shit. Great. All right. It has. Good. And the first name? Matthew. Got it here, 2012 3 Series. Yes, sir. And what service is needed? Oh, just an oil change? And then uh, micro filter change. Okay. And uh, there's actually a weird, like, rattling noise on the right side of the car. I was hoping they could take a look at that. Does, does it sound like it's from the suspension in the body? Um, it's, it's really hard to tell, honestly. I, I feel like it's the door. It's on the right okay. passenger side, and I can't figure it out. There it is. That's it. He's got 12, 12.30. Yeah, let's do 12 o'clock. Very good. You are set then for today. It's at 12 o'clock with a courtesy car requested. Awesome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Taking my car in for an oil change. Uh, the story is on this oil change. Last time I got my car serviced... Uh, oh, shit. What did I press? So, last time I went to the dealer, there was... Uh, the service was great and all that kind of crap. Problem was... When I got home, I noticed there were some things missing out of my car. They were not big things, mainly a Red Bull, <laughs> which um, I was, oddly enough and coincidentally, I was saving it for that night, and there was no Red Bull. Red Bull was missing. I had like this bag of change. I don't know why. Usually, I just have like a bag of quarters so to fill my tires or something. That entire bag was missing. It was in the center console. Shit, what do I keep pressing? I think that's about it. Um, they did leave my umbrella and stuff. Everything else I had taken out of my car, so there was really nothing else to take. But yeah, I had contacted the dealer about this. They asked me what I wanted. They suggested a free tank of gas. I suggested I want a free oil change. And they gave it to me. It's been about two or three weeks now since that. I've actually been waiting for the oil change light to come on, but it hasn't. And I want to get this done before winter time or before it gets you know colder and snow and all that kind of stuff oil change is free i'm going to take advantage of it and then in the meantime i might as well that money that i don't have to pay for an oil change or you know put in that time to actually do the oil myself i'm just going to have them change the microfiber filter i did hear that's kind of easy i saw a youtube video about it but i don't feel like going through all that trouble unscrewing all this garbage that you have to unscrew it's like basically you unscrew a bunch of crap from the bottom I don't know if you guys can see basically underneath here somewhere over there there's a bunch of screws you unscrew and take it all off and blah 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 and just to put in a damn micro filter I'll let them handle that and then this door issue this rattling when I'm driving this car is beginning it's actually not the beginning it's just at the point where it's driving me insane and i cannot take this rattling sound anymore so i'm gonna have them take a look um i'm hoping it's no extra charge or anything like that we'll see so today i'm gonna go work out i'm gonna do a couple errands and then around 12 o'clock i'm gonna go turn this car in let's go okay so i'm back from the gym i got a little haircut before i got home too uh so i'm gonna eat and then i'm gonna head out to the dealer so let's get rolling And of course, I have barely any freaking time to, between the gym and dropping off the car at the dealer. My appointment's at 12, it's 11.30. It takes just about half an hour to get to the dealership. Hopefully I'll get there in time. Of course, everything's, I always have to do things last minute. All right, let's roll. <music>
that sucks. That traffic really sucks. <laughs> So I just got out of the dealer, I'm in a loner, I'm in a 320i, so nothing amazing. I'm gonna get an oil change for free. I just found out the micro filter is $160. So I said no thanks. They smell the, uh, well I smelled it too. There's some kind of burning smell. The mechanic thinks it's a, it's a loose transmission line. So they're gonna take a look at that. Uh, they said they're gonna have the car for a couple days. They're gonna check if uh, my extended warranty covers this stuff and blah, blah, blah. So we'll see you in a couple days. Until then, I'm in this cool 320i. I don't know if it's that cool, but it's got the upgraded interior, so it's kind of cool. Kind of just my thoughts. I don't know why, but kind of getting down about owning this car. Like, this is a car I've always wanted to own, and now I own it, and I'm kind of down about it. I, I mean, all, you know, all this going to the dealer and all these costs and stuff. Like, yeah, I've told you guys before, I already knew this was going to be like this, or I kind of suspected it would be, you know, a few dealer visits here and there, and that, you know, I'd be, have to pay more of a premium price to get things done. But I'm just starting to get tired of it. I guess it's kind of hitting me like, wow. You know, I mean, she told me too right now, um, if I needed to get my battery replaced, it's 500 bucks because they use like special batteries that register with the engine and blah, blah, blah. More and more, I'm starting to think about actually selling my car. It's kind of unrealistic though for me. I talked to my dad about it because um, me and him, we both like cars and I always ask him for advice with cars and things. He thinks I should hang on to it for a while longer and he's probably right. I feel like I should hang on to it for a while longer too, but I just have that little feeling in me like, hey, maybe you should start thinking about getting rid of this thing even though i do love how it drives i love how it sounds and makes me feel the way it looks and the interior and all this stuff it's just that maintenance just it's starting to kill me it's starting to kind of wear me down or wear on me and i want to drive a cool car and this is the car i wanted to drive anyways stay tuned if you want my next video will be about the results of what happened at the dealer with my car thank you for watching or not watching or carrying whatever just thanks for watching see you next time